beauty surrounds and health abounds. That was the motto of Morecambe during its heyday. But wait a minute, stop talking about the past. This town is definitely looking to the future. Welcome to Morecambe. Morecambe has a spectacular location, looking out across the bay towards the mountains of the Lake District. Yet in the national media, it's constantly been described as faded, depressed, past its best. Well, I ask you, if this was a dead-end town, would a world heavyweight boxer choose to live here? Would you find one of England's most iconic hotels here? And would the Eden Project be looking to locate a multi-million pound facility right here where I'm standing? I think not. It's time to kick out those stereotypes. Morecambe is going places. Bring me sunshine. There's one statue in the town that is an obligatory photo stop. And that's because it's the town's own comedy legend, Eric Morecambe. His real name was Eric Bartholomew. And you'll see images of the famous comedian all over town. He adopted his beloved hometown as his stage name. You know, as a child growing up in the 70s, I thought that Eric Morkin was the funniest man on the planet. And you know what? At the time, he probably was. <laughs> the town became a popular resort in the mid 20th century. Mill workers arriving by train from Yorkshire formed the majority of the holiday makers. So much so that it acquired the nickname Bradford on Sea. But in common with most British resorts, cheap air travel signalled a sharp decline in visitor numbers. The town lost both its piers and its fairgrounds and fell on hard times. But then, the Renaissance. Opened in 1933 by the London, Midland and Scottish Railway, the Art Deco Midland Hotel sat derelict on the waterfront waiting for a saviour. It was rescued by the company Urban Splash and reopened in 2008. It's an absolutely gorgeous building and on a day like today brings Miami Beach to Lancashire. As a catalyst for regeneration, it really couldn't be beaten. Next came the enormous Morecambe Winter Gardens, allegedly Lancashire's most haunted building. Once dubbed the Albert Hall of the North, the complex closed down in 1977 and the ballroom was sadly demolished. However, a dedicated group of volunteers formed a preservation trust in 2006 and although work is still ongoing and donations are more than welcome the magnificent auditorium is open once again another Morecambe success story more of an insight into 21st century Morecambe, I went to speak to Councillor Caroline Jackson. Morecambe's a place that's beginning to buzz. We all know that it's had a bit of a downtime in the past, but now we've got great artists coming to, to join us and there's lots of opportunity to see some street art. We've got interesting shops with some merchandise you won't see everywhere, let's say. And then we've got places like the Winter Gardens, where we're beginning to get the culture rolling again. So we've got a great present, but, um, and we're also looking forward possibly to having Eden here, and actually standing in the place where one of the Eden shells will be stationed. Um, we don't know whether they're coming yet, but we're so, so hopeful. They've got that wonderful interest in the bay and all the hinterland behind us, so we're gonna be learning lots about our environment. We've got a great new curriculum what they're already doing with our kids in our schools and really inspiring kids to learn by teaching them about, about what's just outside their door um, and well they're helping people by doing certain sorts of work with health service so that people are actually being um, given a prescription for going out of doors 
So this is all Eden influence and we're just looking forward to crossing out all our fingers and toes that we'll have them here. Yeah, this is a great place if you come on holiday. There's all the things you can do here, sun, sea, sand, traditional fish and chips, the fish and chips are really good. Um, but also, there's a lot of things that are very close by. So we've got Blackpool, you can go to the Lake District, it's within an hour. Uh, so many different things you can do there if you're into nature. And then there's Lancaster, and Lancaster itself, real historic city, very different from Morecambe. You know, 20 years ago, Morecambe was on the ropes. But with a massive community effort, it's really come back fighting. I'm going to quote you a conversation that I've only just overheard. I'm walking along Morecambe Promenade in the sunshine. What more could anybody ask for? What more can I say? If you've enjoyed the film, then please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next journey.